Oh no, bro, this is this is just a PlayStation 5, man. What? You you don't have one? Are you broke? It's been four months, dog. How you not get a console, bro? You are broke as hell, man. You know, like, it's so easy, bro. I got like three of them mugs, man. I mean, so all of them things. Where's the PS5? Are you fucking serious? Ain't no way. We did it. <laughs> we got our hands on a PlayStation 5. I am so excited, guys. I got this from a PlayStation Direct drop. I'm very grateful to have gotten it from there. It shipped in no time. And as you all should know, I've been hunting the PlayStation 5. I actually do a lot of information videos on the PlayStation 5 here on my channel. And this has been the one thing I've been looking for to find the hunt. And I finally got my hands on it. You know, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I have to say, but primarily the one thing I want to say before we start this unboxing is you shouldn't cave into scalpers, okay? I was about to cave in. I really wanted this console. You know, I wanted it super bad. And I was about to pay just so much money, like $700 for this console. Guys, it's going to happen. You're going to be able to get one of these from an online source. It's going to be easier to get one of these consoles. Please hold your stakes. Hold it in. Hold it in. Hold the ambition to be the pressure to buy a PlayStation 5. I promise you, you can get one at retail. It's not impossible. But yes, overall, we are gonna be doing a PlayStation 5 unboxing today. This box is incredibly huge. I am very excited because it's gonna be my first time holding any of the controllers or the accessories, the console itself. I've got a dual camera set up here so you guys and gals can catch all of the action. You know, I point it right there, get a little close up. And um, yeah, so without further ado, you know, let's, let's go on ahead and just start cracking the sucker open. So I completely forgot to bring like a knife. So I had to go and run and get one, but I'm the only guy to start an unboxing video without officially, you know, bringing like a knife. But we're gonna start it off here. Here we go. So we have a little slit here. Hold it towards the first camp. We have the official PlayStation logo here. So you know I got it from the PS drop. And then we have, it seems to be like a little normal piece of tape. So we're gonna cut both of those. Oh man, I'm excited, look at that. That's gonna go straight through. There we go. Play like you've never played before. I didn't even show up the box, I'm so excited. Look at this, PlayStation. I got the disc vi uh, version and I've got the console here as well with the, the normal dual sense controller. Play like you've never played before and it just opens up like that. And from there, we get to open this sucker up. Maybe with a better perspective. I need to get like an official webcam but I can just pull this hunky ginormous console there we go yeah there we go so there goes that so we've got the official playstation 5 box here if we could uh focus up there we go we got the official playstation 5 box logo included there and then we've got just what seems to be the original box in here so i'm going to put this to the side no need for that okay so let's get this here there's nothing important on this box just a white box but what's on the inside is what matters. So we gotta open this sucker up. And already, they're telling us to put it on the side. Now, for this unboxing video, I, I guess it would be better, you know, if I put it on the side. Let me just adjust this. So now you all can see that I'm, uh, I'm opening the box up from the side view, just to make it easier. Apparently there's this little panel, oh, that opens up. Oh, but it seems that that's the, uh, the controller there. So maybe I can flip it back up. Maybe this box is just giving me terrible instructions. Seems like they want me to put it on the side though. So we've got one box here and then, oh man, I see the console. I see the console, but we're gonna put that to the side for the minute, man. Look at this, we've got a box. In this box should be a lot of that. So we've got the fucking manual. Who reads that shit? So here we go, right here. This seems to be what I think is the official stand. So it's what you use to put the PlayStation 5 on its side or on its original front there. And it looks like you can just spin it. Yep, and there's the whole 
nail right there, so that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's that's one of the things there. Got our new HDMI cord. This is actually a very specific cord to anybody that uh, is going to be getting a PlayStation 5 soon. This apparently has a higher transfer rate and it allows for a better resolution on TVs. This is actually like a newer HDMI. I don't know the name for it at the moment, but definitely use this HDMI on your PlayStation 5. You'll get a better view, a better picture, a better resolution. Uh, if you do 4K, I think that's especially what it's for. And then we have a traditional charging cable here. Seems like it's no brick attached. It's just a regular standard old charging cable. Okay, now this, this, this right here is what I'm most excited for. I am so hyped for this. Let's move this box out the way. We're done with this box. This box is now empty. This right here. It's what I'm very, and I mean I am very, very excited for. This is the DualSense controller right here, baby. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Look at how beautiful that controller is. You see how beautiful that is? Oh my God. So it's like, oh, I love this. This feels good, what the hell? It's more, um, it's more wider. I feel like, like, you know the shape of like a traditional Roblox character's head? Yeah, I would say that that's the, the name for it. And it's got like the, 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 the D-pad, you know, the D-pad here. It's very, uh, it's very squishy-ish, but it's got enough press to feel comfortable. And we have like the analog sticks, those feel good. We've got the buttons here, the buttons feel nice. And then we have the little middle button here. And if we press this power button, Oh, look at that, it's glowing, it's turning on. Ooh, that's very exciting. So what we can't see, and it's very microscopic, I don't think my camera would be able to pick it up. I'll see if I can get a shot of it. We have little like etchings of the XY, uh, not XY, the XO square and triangle patterns on the controller, that's really tiny. Like it doesn't pop up easily. It's not, it's not something that pops up super easily on the controller, but it looks amazing. So that is the DualSense controller. Definitely excited to check that out. Definitely excited to uh, to play around with it because it has the little rumble situation going on there with the triggers. See how the adaptive triggers handle out. All right, last but not least, the most important part of the console, the PlayStation 5, okay? We've got this here, the PlayStation 5. I'm gonna slide that thing out. It just comes out with ease, bro. Oh my God, look at that. There's nothing else left inside the box. There's nothing in there. Nothing left. Take these little suckers off. Seems like we've got a little bit of stuff going on. Oh my goodness, that console. This is a heavy console, bro. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man. Probably seeing this on the big camera. Whoa! Good grief! This thing is heavy. Holy shit. Look. So this is the PlayStation 5. Disk drive version, got the disk drive there. We've got some, some power buttons and whatnot there. We've got a power button here. Uh, looks like we've got a USB type C port, if I'm not incorrect. And then we have our traditional HDMI, uh, not HDMI, this is our uh, USB port right here. We flip that sucker around. As you can see, we've got our other two uh, 2.0 ports right there for USB, LAN adapter, uh, and then we have an HDMI, and of course our power section there. So this is officially the PlayStation 5. The one thing I'm noticing right here is especially with this like black, uh, it's sort of like a, um, uh, how would I say, it's a very shiny color. It's not like a uh, another texture right here is this white. It's uh, very glossy, as you would say. Yeah, that's the word for it. So it's picking up a lot of dust and that's gonna be a long-term issue. I'm unsure if I wanna get plates for this. I don't know if I wanna get any like plates for this uh, console yet, but I'm very excited nonetheless to finally have it in my hands. Let's try and install the, uh, the final stand on there so we can get this sucker propped up correctly. Okay, so what I noticed was I think I put it on the incorrect way because now it seems to be uh, be sticking to the console a little bit better. Yeah, so you, you have to turn it first. But otherwise than that, once you're done turning it, you just take this sucker, put it on the side and you can see it's being held up by the little black piece. You can't really see it that well in the camera there. Uh, but the black piece is holding up the console. Um, I'm not gonna orientate it like this. Personally, I have enough space to put it upright, but I'm gonna try it in the upright position now. Go on ahead, take the console itself and put it on this. There. And there's little railings on the back of it too. Makes life a little easier. And just 
like that, it's on. There it goes, and you wanna flip it and be careful with it because you need to put that final screw in there. Oh shit, he would try to flip it. Now, this is not ideal, don't flip your console upside down. But overall, you would just push the screw in there, tighten that. I got a Phillips head in this room, so let me uh, orientation. So now we'll just flip the console, and boom, there we go. So the PlayStation 5 has been officially put into its upright state. Okay, but yes, guys and gals, that is going to be my unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Sorry, it was a little bit scuffed. I'm still working on unboxing videos and trying to make these better. Um, the next video I do of any product will probably be a lot better than this one since I'm always trying to boost my content up. But this is the PlayStation 5. Again, guys, scalping exists, you know, and you could buy the console for $800, but honestly, don't do it. It's a bad idea. You know, I caved so many times. I almost ran out and bought a console for 750 bucks. And then I was lucky enough to get this here on retail. And I, I, I truly do believe that there will be more consoles available in the future. It's rough out there right now, but you know, we don't really have that many games for this console yet. You know, the only big release that I see going on is the official Ratchet and Clank. So just hold in there. You know, you guys and gals will make it. You can get your console. Stay updated on my channel. I do many PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X announcements here on the channel i'm gonna bring graphics cards into the mix too and sort of help people get some of those and yeah but thank you all for watching again thank you for supporting the channel thank you for giving me all this love have you gotten a playstation 5 yet and if not what's your favorite game in general being announced for it and what do you hope to see on this magnificent console i would love to hear that down in the comments below all right thank you guys and gals for watching and peace out